<clears throat> hey, peace world. Thanks for pressing play on another Pay Me No Mind sports and entertainment video. Me and my man Apollo right here. My name is Wood. Get into some bite down boxing talk. Uh, last night we had a phenomenal uh, super featherweight uh, women's super featherweight uh, championship fight between WBC titleist Terry Harper and uh, one loss uh, challenger uh, Natasha Jonas. And um, it ended in a split draw, 96-94 for each lady, and then 95-95 uh, for uh, Terry Harper to retain her belt. And first of all, I thought it was a, an excellent fight, a great clash of styles, and it's one of the uh, aspects of uh, British or UK boxing that I really appreciate. It's just the spirit uh, in following the game, from the fans perspective and then just the matching and um to go in there and compete it, it, it's, it's 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 a much different vibe that i get and uh, i think those ladies did an excellent job uh, i saw some people saying that uh harper i mean yeah that harper got a gift or that jonas was robbed and uh you know a six four fight man this is another this is one of those fights where the two minute rounds for the women uh, it killed it. I mean, I, I oh, I have a uh, write up on the fight uh, on www.bitedownboxing.com as well as uh, the Fowler and Adam Harper uh, in the co-main event. So that's out there. Please check that out. I'll put the link in the uh, in the description. But um, that's tough to to me. It, it, it was tough to write it. It was tough to score it. Uh, I could probably watch it a couple different times, a few times, and, and maybe have a different winner. Uh, I think, um, I think you know, Harper, her length, the combination of her length, uh, busy hands, uh, aggression, um, you know, working her way inside and just make, and, and looking to make contact, um, I, I think she did enough to hold on to her title. You know, I, I think it was a fair decision. So uh, there was no crowd in there. It wasn't like the judges were uh, affected by crowd noise or anything or the favorite fighter or anything. I find it hard. Uh, and I thought I thought uh, Harper, I thought she won that seventh round. Again, just being busy, attacking, uh, mixing it up well. Uh, the shorter, uh, and then in the tenth, that's the thing. It's a two-minute round. So if she comes out and gets like she did, she came out with more fight, waited a little less. It seemed like it took uh, it took Natasha a minute to uh, to process how to handle it, and Harper just went out there and went after it, and she spent a good forty to fifty-five seconds going after it, and set the tone for the round. And I just don't think on the back end of that, I think it was very difficult for Jonas to tip it, I mean, to uh, totally uh, offset or negate everything that uh, that Harper did in the first, in those first, you know, 45, 55 seconds. And so, and, and it comes down to, you know what the, uh, you, you, you know what the challenges are. It's two minutes. I thought earlier in the fight, um, Jonas was very sharp early, very sharp. And, you know, great technique. She was balanced. Uh, jabbing to the, uh, setting up her one-two, jabbing to the body. Uh, looked very sharp. And Harper made a good adjustment and was like, what well, the hell with all this waiting and letting you be comfortable. Let me, let me speed things up. Let me change up the pace here and there. And, you know, let's get to, let's get to throwing some leather. Make things ugly. Make it a make it a fight, and I think if she would have just stood stood there and boxed all night, yeah, she probably would have lost her title. But in the right moments, she uh, she attacked. Um, for anybody, any fans out there, any observers out there that were able to sit and 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 make heads or definitively make heads or tails of the winner, you know, salute to you. You have excellent uh, boxing IQ. I couldn't call it. Um, but the effort, the effort was great. Uh, the respect at the end, the, the respect for one another, 
Uh, both of them conducted themselves like champions. I enjoyed Jonas's uh, backstory and her preparation, having a chance to get a, a nutritionist, all of the uh, adding all the science in to, to give herself the best shot at what could have been her last shot at a world title. And, and to know that the WBC belt was what she was going for, uh, and to, like I said, invest in herself to get the sponsors. To, they had to do drawing her blood and the, the breathing stuff and all of that. So I can respect somebody that uh, that put that type of uh, effort and organization into giving themselves the best the best chance to uh, be successful. I just think Harper, you know, her her length and uh, busyness, her activity, her fight, uh, you know, those are kind of intangible. Some of those are intangibles and I, like I said I thought she did enough to uh, to retain her title and probably not enough to get to victory I like to see it again um, you know Harper and uh, Michaela Mayer out of from the US is a very interesting fight both of them are, are longer and taller Michaela can fight at all three levels but kind of sets everything up with a like like a, a traditional uh, boxing style a jab uh, but she can get inside and mix it up. But I like that she establishes everything from distance. Um, so that would be a nice clash of, of styles, too. So uh, that's a, a fight that would be intriguing to me. But, of course, I think Jonas deserves a rematch, a, a second crack at it. And, um, you know, they also, you know, that Hearn signed you were Broad Nicka uh, for the future. I think she has, what, the WBO belt, I want to say. So, uh, tons of options there. Like I said, man, super featherweight in the women's division, in my opinion, is one of the better ones uh, on the women's side. These promoters and whatnot, uh, it behooves them to figure out a way to get those fights done and to show uh, women's the best of women's boxing and competitive fights. I heard the discussion between Mora, Sergio Mora and uh, Chris Mannix about uh, the importance, how you want to whether you want to weigh title fights and unifications or just the best names and who appears to have the best skills and like and, and I would agree with it that it shouldn't be all about titles just make the best fights it's something that's kind of hurt my interest with uh, Cecilia Brightkus in deciding to fight uh next week on the zone in uh Tulsa uh to, to fight uh her second fight in a row where a fighter her opponent is coming up with uh Jessica McCaskill who's a uh, lightweight unified champion, I believe. Uh, speaking of the co-main event with Fowler and uh, Adam Harper, I thought Fowler looked pretty good. Um, he was he was way more talented than uh, Harper, and I think that's when I look at some of the UK boxing, I'm trying to figure out where do I gauge these guys uh, internationally. Or, you know, they were speaking of him fighting, uh, you know, at the European level. That's something I wouldn't know nothing about. But um, Fowler looks like a big uh, super welterweight and, you know, has some work to do before he can do anything on the international level. But it, it was a good fight. Good, He looked good. Uh, put, some, put a little sauce on it a little bit. Uh, toying with that guy who, like I said, the guy had no knockouts. He had never been stopped before. He got stopped. Uh, it, it, he was tough as hell. He went to the seventh round, uh, you know, off of uh, grit and guts. But he took a, you know, he took a, uh, and he didn't run. You know, he stood in the pocket as much as possible. He just didn't have a lot of pop. And uh, I like the way that uh, Fowler set him up and got him out of there. Speaking of uh, tonight, <clears throat> eight, I want to say 8 p.m., I want to say 8 p.m. on Fox. I, I couldn't figure out yesterday what was the breakdown of Fox Sports 1. Fox Sports 1 afterwards, after the, the, the main event action on um, on Fox. It'll move over to FS1, I believe is how it's set up. And that's where Michael Fox and uh, the fight, two fights. Michael Fox, his fight, and then Vito Melanicki Jr. Those will be over there on FS1. And then, like I said, on Fox, it'll be the uh, David Sorrell uh, and uh, Omar Juarez against Willie Shaw. And then in the main event, I think it's a pretty damn good welterweight fight. PBC is loaded at welterweight. Uh, both of these guys are previous opponents of your Danish, you guys. 
and we'll see how they mix it up. Like I said, I think it'll be a good action fight. Uh, hopefully, you know, uh, it attracts non-boxing fans who just want to see some action. And, the, and they're both of these guys put on a good show. Again, this is Bite Down Boxing. Don't let them count you out. Presented by Pay Me No Mind Sports and Entertainment. My name is Wood. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Enjoy the rest of this weekend. Peace.